to my channel Miranda Beauty here and in today's video I'm actually doing a second impressions the reason why it's a second impression is because I've already used this foundation I've already tested it I, I already know how it wears the footage of me filming this I deleted it yep I deleted it so I redid it I redid it and I showed you guys um the outcome honestly I, I will tell you right now this foundation is beautiful the only the only issue I have with it is it's not the, the greatest match for me. I did make it come together, but moving forward, I will be mixing this with a few drops of something that's darker that's in my collection because it is a touch too light. Other than that, um, I gave this foundation a 3.5 out of 5 stars. It's mainly because of the match. The foundation itself, the formulation, the wear is really beautiful. When I first tried this foundation, I did test it for 11 hours and it held up really well. I also did test out the Sephora setting spray. This is also a great setting spray. Love this. I only tried this one, so I will have to try it with my other foundations before I give like a real solid answer. But so far, me using this with the combination of the Sephora products that I tried out was really, really good. I also test out the Sephora um, Best Skin Ever concealers these are the concealers that go with the foundation the foundation is a medium coverage it can be buildable and then the concealers are full coverage love the concealers the shades of them are also great they're usually the shades that i go for in concealer and then i'm also using the sephora translucent setting powder this powder is beautiful it smooths out under my eyes so nice and it controls the oil for a really good time. I was able to keep these products on my face for 11 hours. So if you would like to see me apply it again and watch the transformation of this not matching to it coming together, then so keep as on I watching. probably would have said in the beginning, I did already test some of these products out already. So it's not even a first impression, it's a second impression. So this is my second day using these products. Um, so I already kind of know how some of these are gonna perform. Um, I did also do a wear test. And I will say that this foundation, uh, the Sephora Best Skin Ever, um, I did end up really liking how this foundation wore. I wore it for 11 hours. And I'll see if I can find a picture where I can insert what my face looked like at the end of the day. And after 11 hours, for it to be more so a hydrating foundation, it doesn't really claim to be matte like that. Um, it lasted really long. I also used... The Sephora uh, setting spray and this is great so yeah I'm not gonna be using the setting spray today because I will be testing out another setting spray which is the Mac fix plus stay over I've had this for over a month now and I haven't used it it was just been sitting on my makeup table for me to test it and so I'm finally gonna be testing it today um and then I tried out some other products again already I've used them um so yeah what I will say is I rated this foundation 3.5 out of 5 stars because of the shade. You will see that this shade looks crazy when I first apply it on, but it comes together once I set my face, I contour, and I bronze, and I do what I need to do. So I can use this foundation on its own, but after today, just for like an even better kind of look when I'm initially applying it, I'll probably add like a drop or two of a deeper foundation that I have in my collection to make this um, match me better before I apply my powders and stuff, even though it's not needed because like I said, it comes together when it's all said and done. So what I'm going to start off by doing is my brows and a brow tutorial will be available on my TikTok, but it's really not any different um than what I normally do I am using my brow soap which I've showed on my channel before but the difference is what I've been doing recently is to activate it instead of using just plain old water I use hairspray that's it and it gives me that laminated brow look and then I go in with my brow pen which you've seen me use this plenty of times if you are subscribed to my channel so when I come back, I'm going to have my brows already done. Brows are done. Fine and We're going to go ahead and prime. I'm going to be using my Fenty Pro Filter Primer, the OG. Oh, 
we're going to smooth that down into the skin. I love this primer. And I either, I go between this and the hydrating one, but they both like smooth out my skin and keep my foundation on. I tend to use the Pro Filter one in the more warmer months and then the hydrating one when it's like fall and winter. Okay, so I'm all color corrected and this is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. I'm using the shade 34.5N. And I'm going to do a few pumps and this foundation is going to be light. Um, it matches the center of my face, but in terms of the discoloration, it's too light. But like I said, it's going to come together and it's not really basically gonna just telling you my thoughts now. Again, the foundation feels really nice, lightweight on the skin. Um, the formulation is beautiful. It holds up, and I know, know that already. Um, but it's just the shade match. I went back to the store to try and get one that matched better, but the one that was a Y was too yellow for me, and then the other neutral, like the neutral below this one, which was 35N, was too deep, and it had a reddish undertone, which was so weird. So I just said I'm going to keep this one because I know that I'll be able to make it work. And luckily, I did. So this is where we're at. <laughs> so this is the foundation on my skin. It's light. I mean, if you look at my chest, right, you can see it's lighter. But when I hold up my arms... It matches when I show you my shoulder it matches I have discoloration in my face though so that's why it looks off so it is what it is to me as long as the foundation comes together at the end looks good in photos that's what all that's what matters to me okay so under my um eyes are blended but i'm gonna go in and quickly um set because my eye tends to crease right so we're gonna quickly set this like this okay so quickly set now I'm gonna take my powder puff and I'm using the Sephora translucent powder and I'm putting that on the back of my hand and I'm going to press this under my eye this powder is so phenomenal I've used it before and do you guys see how under my eyes is like smooth smooth I don't know what they've put in this powder but it is so good it's actually amazing so Ooh, I just cream contour that. today and I'm gonna use the Jordana Tisha cream contour in vacation ship and I'm just using a Morphe, I think this is the E7 brush. And I'm going to go in on my skin and start to buff that in the hollows of my cheeks. <laughs> now I'm going to go in and I'm going to set my entire face. With my foundation powder, which is the Sephora um, foundation powder in the shade Warm Toffee. And I'm going to first set down my bronzer slash contour. And just set that into place. And then I'll begin to buff out the rest of my face. So that is what I'm doing. And as you guys can see, 
color is being restored back into my skin. And I'm telling you, it's crazy. I'm going to go ahead and just do this all over my face and just use this powder. Be honest, just that. Tell me right now in the comments if you thought this was going to come together. I'm not even done yet. But you see how much color has been brought back into my skin after I set it? Right now, I'm going to take the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder and my same powder puff and I'm going to rub it into the powder and press it under my eye. That's like this goes. I've just put my foundation powder on and it's already leveled itself out. So that's what we love to see. I'm going to go in and contour. I'm going to be using Coco O from Morphe. This is their bronzer, but I like to use this to contour. And I'm going to go back in where I already cream contoured to add depth and dimension to my face. I am going to bronze my skin. And I'm going to use my Cinebe from Colored Rain. And this is a big fluffy bronzer brush from Sephora. And this is in the number 80. And I'm just going to overlap and bronze my cheek contour and forehead contour. So that's where I like to bronze. Like right there. Now I'm going to blush and for my blush I am going to be doing like a pinky toned lip so I'm going to go in with a pinky toned blush from the crayon case. This is the last page, last row, number two and I'm going to lightly blush. I use very little of this product and you can already see how that's popping up. I tap and then I tap off the excess and I'm pressing it into my skin, placing it where I want the blush to be seen and blending it up to my temples. Super cute. Now we're gonna highlight and we're gonna take my favorite highlighter which is this Kiss New York Glow and Bronze Powder. And we're gonna go over my blush. We're gonna highlight my nose. Super cute. And just the tops of my cheeks. Right there. So we are satisfied. And, and I'm going to spritz down my face with Fix Plus. This is just my first spray down with a fixing spray to fix everything down. Because I did use a lot of powders and layers. So... blend or dry this down so this is my face dried down and I'm gonna have a separate tutorial on my eye makeup but I'm gonna go do my eyes and then I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna show you my final look I'm also gonna show you guys when I use my set my Mac um, setting spray so I'm going to be testing out that setting spray. But this is my face, guys. It came together. Face I told done. you. All said and done. It came together. I'm I'm shocked. I'm I'm just as shocked as you are. Trust me. But um yeah, like I said, moving forward, I will be mixing that foundation with um some deeper foundations I have in my collection because even though I made it come together, um it's still just it's still a little bit too late. So I'll feel more comfortable mixing it with something a little bit deeper to make it a little bit more cohesive. But other than that, I definitely think it's worth a try. I would go into Sephora and test out the shades, swatch them, make sure that you're confident in the shade match. I usually am good off shade matching offline. And I think in this instance, this was the best from like the best match because the other ones were going to be too yellow or too orangey, which the one... After this is 35N and it's orangey, which is so weird. So I was not getting that because I just think it wouldn't have looked good. You'd, you would be able to see that the foundation looks too yellow or 
to orange. So I felt like that is the best bet. I'll just mix it with some other foundations that I have that are a little bit deeper. Um, concealers, love them. The concealers are beautiful. And the translucent powder, this is a yes. This is a yes. I'll be repurchasing this. I'll definitely be repurchasing this. Um, Sephora stepped up their pum pum in the last couple of years with their face products because when I used to use, like when I tested out Sephora products back in the day, this was like 10 years ago, it wasn't giving. But now, whatever they're formulating, because that, that powder, the micro smooth powder, their foundation powder, they're all good, like real good. Um, just maybe come out with a different foundation with more ranges or like better undertones, you know? Because the jump from this foundation to the next one, it's a little bit weird. It's a little bit weird. Other than that, um, I, I'd say it's so worth I've trying. I've had my makeup on for like six and a half, seven hours. Look at my face, guys. It pretty much looks like I just applied my makeup. Um, I'm not getting too crazy oily in my, um, T-zone. Um, it's, there's a bit of a glow, but it's, it's really not even that crazy. Um, my skin looks good. If I literally just took the slightest amount of powder and just retouched up, you wouldn't even notice. It would look like I just applied my makeup. This setting spray is what I use today, and it is the truth. It is the truth. I like this. Not bad, Mac. Good job. Good job. So that's just another setting spray added to the collection. I already knew the foundation and the products are going to hold up nice because they did the over the weekend, like I said. So this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed um learn something new maybe and um that's pretty much it thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you guys in the next one soon bye love.